Wizard of Oz with all the poppies. Mm-hmm. So describe this place for me. Uh, I'm just standing there, it's just poppies. They're plant flowers. Mm-hmm. What color are they? Oh, they're just all kinds of colors. Mm-hmm. And it just goes on and on and on. And way far. I don't know. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Uh, no worries. Mm-hmm. Can you feel the wind in this place or a breeze? No, I can't. Mm-hmm. What does it feel like in this place? It's just warm. Mm-hmm. And when, like, when you're or just warm, it breathes. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yes. Do you feel that you have a body in this place? <coughs> it's hard to tell because I have eyes because I can see. Mm-hmm. So let's see what kind of body you have there. What does it look like? I wanted to say the word plump. Mm-hmm. <laughs> tell me what you look like. Yeah, I have a little mustache. Mm-hmm. You have a long mustache? No, yeah, just a little one. A little one. Boy. Describe your appearance to me. I look like a little person. Mm-hmm. Like a little, like I said before, like a munchkin. Mm-hmm. So what are you wearing there? Green jacket. Mm-hmm. What else? Different funny boots, shoes. Uh huh. Like red. Like red boots? Yeah. What are they made out of? It's not leather. Mm-hmm. It's like a shiny plat not plastic, I don't know. Mm hmm. Vel velvet maybe. Hmm. Interesting. How old do you feel there? Older, but not tired. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I first thought was 90. Mm-hmm. Do so you feel old, but you don't feel yeah. old? Yeah. I'm old, I'm like old and wise, but I don't feel old at all because I'm light. Mm-hmm. So let's see where it is that you go in this place. <sighs> what is this place? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's explore. What is it that you're doing in these poppies? What's the first thing that you think about? Why are you here? It's just a lot of horse, but I don't see anything. Mm-hmm. You don't see a horse? No. Mm-hmm. Did you think of a horse? I thought of a horse. Mm-hmm. What do you imagine happened to your horse? It's out eating something. Mm. <laughs> What's it eating? Oh, it looks like hay, I think. Mm-hmm. Oh, but he's close. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, he's there. Uh, just doing his thing. So tell me what, what else you're doing out there. What's the significance of this poppy field? I don't know. I mm-hmm. have a like a stick in my left hand. All right, please. Like a long stick, like take it, but it's a lot taller than I am. Right, like mm-hmm. it's like three or four feet higher than me. What do you imagine this stick is used for? <sighs> I wanted to say a spear, but it's not. It's more. Hang on. Hang on. See yourself using this stick. Oh, it's to knock the poppies down, like. Like almost like a sickle, but it's not a sickle. It's just a stick. Mm-hmm. And it's like you pop, knock the leaf, the flowers off the, and I do something with the flower. I put the flowers in a basket. Mm-hmm. Just yeah. the heads. Just the heads. Yeah. What kind of basket do you have? It's a woven one. Mm-hmm. It's not a. It's like one that is open, not closed. Yes. Yeah. So let's see what you use those poppy heads for. It's medicine. Medicine. Yeah. Okay. So let's find out 
what how you make that medicine close that scene okay. and go to the place where you make that medicine okay i'm there it's a big wooden table mm-hmm. let's see what you fireplace mm -hmm. yeah like around like a, all over one smaller not huge mm -hmm. almost like a pizza oven mm-hmm what am i doing now uh just put them in different bowls. Reds and reds and blues. Mm -hmm. I think I want to grind them, but I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. Do the colors of the poppies mean anything? You seem to have been sorting them out. I, I, Oh, no, I don't know. I had it. Like, red was... Mm-hmm. Nose or something, like sinus, maybe. Mm-hmm. And this, the red ones are for sinus issues? I don't know about issues. Maybe they just smell good. Mm-hmm. And the blues are... You know what? They might even help your hair. Mm -hmm. The blue ones. Yes. They don't make your hair blue, though. Mm-hmm. Do they make it healthier? Yeah, thicker. Mm-hmm. Like shinier. Browner. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just kind of rub them on it. Mm -hmm. They're bigger leaves, and you put the leaves and rub the oil on you. Your hair. Mm-hmm. Do you put the the poppies in any any type of liquid? Yeah. Oh no, liquid. Oh mm -hmm. wait. Um, I see the bottle. I don't know. <sighs> this might sound funny, but I thought it was urine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think? It's urine. It is urine. I think so. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that preserves it. I think that preserves it. Mm hmm So you use the urine as a preservative? I think so. Mm hmm You put it in there, and they just kind of stay that way. They mm -hmm. stay like a flower, and then pull it out, and you put them between, like, napkins or preserved linen. Mm hmm You press it. It doesn't smell or anything. Mm-hmm. And once they're pressed, I don't know what I do. Hang it. Oh, they're hang you hang them up. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, there's flowers all over it, but they're like, like, like shriveled old roses. Mm -hmm. Upside down. Yes. Yeah, it's just nothing really. It's cool. Mm -hmm. So who do you use these poppies on? Are these for you or for others? Other people. Mm -hmm. well, kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. Heels. I got heels. I don't know why heels. Cracking heels. Cracking heels. Yeah, I don't know if we walk around on bare feet, too. Take a look at your feet. They're kind of hairy. They're mm -hmm. not hairy. I mean, they're stubby and hairy. I'm kind of like, like a portly little sucker. Mm-hmm. But strong and light. But I feel light. Mm-hmm. Oh, so heavy. You have a lot of volume, but you don't have weight? I'm short. I'm rounder. Everything's like roundy. Mm-hmm. Like round, like the toes are big and fat and pudgy, but that's cute. It's not like it's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Most people are like that. What do they call you? Barber or something. I'm not, but I'm not a barber. Mm-hmm. Is that barber. your name? Barber. 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 Wait a minute. So I can almost write it. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. How do you B -A -R -B. write it? B-A-R-B. Barber. Mm-hmm. That's your name? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm not a barber. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. It's not your occupation, it's your name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah, is there anything? Cool place. Is there anything else significant in this place? Take a look around. What do you see? Here's an instrument. Mm-hmm. It's like in a. It's on a chair. It's in the, in the chairs. It's like. It's woven in nice night. I like the wood on it. And mm-hmm. this place is all wood. It's all nice wood. It's, I want to say kind of under. Groundish, but it's it's but it's a it's 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 a cool place and it, and instruments. How many instruments do you see? I see a few. I see the one is a, a stringed instrument, and then there was a flute, mm-hmm. but like a pipe flute, like a tin flute, like a. <sighs> mm-hmm. Barbara, do you play all of the instruments yourself? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. People come over. One friend is a drummer, but his hands drum. Mm-hmm. So let's go now to a scene where your friends are coming to play an instrument. I'd like for you to close yeah. this one. And yeah. now let's go to a time when all of your friends are there it's, playing instruments. And tell it, me what's happening. It's a fire. Mm-hmm. It's like a campfire, but it's big, and it's the ground is flat, and the, the it's benches, like we made benches they're mm-hmm. cool benches and mm-hmm. everybody sits around and just does that mm-hmm. i see a guy with a flute oh i don't know what he looks like. he almost looks like a rabbit <laughs> mm-hmm. and it and um he's a rabbit i'm pretty sure he's a rabbit mm-hmm. Is he's he playing a, the flute is he a big rabbit He's a, no, no, I mean, he's, he's a human size, but human I'm small, but well, I'm small, so mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm even human. Does he stand upright? He's sitting on the bench, mm-hmm. and his hands play like a cartoon, you know, like a, mm-hmm. like, like so yeah, he's but like, he's, he's, he's real. So he's like a humanoid rabbit? Yeah. Okay. Does he have long ears? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And he's playing. And his teeth are get, kind of getting away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's getting away? No, his teeth getting away. Oh, his teeth. the flute. <laughs> he's got to work them good. <laughs> what else is there? I'll try to go around. Oh. The trees are big. They're really big. They're wide and long. Like, they're... Really big, like you could live in one. Mm-hmm. The fire just does its thing. It's just, it's not hot, it's just light. I go around and I don't see anything else on the one side. It's just on this side mm-hmm. that we're playing. Mm-hmm. What other instruments? I'm playing a stringed one. Mm hmm. It's not, it's four strings and they're wide apart. Uh, it doesn't make any sense. What kind of music are you playing? <sighs> the, like, um, higher pitched, like Irish music, mm-hmm. like the diddly dee. Mm-hmm. Play along with it, let's see how it goes. <sighs> diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee. Diddly dee. I want to dance a little. Mm-hmm. Diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee. It makes you dance. It makes mm-hmm. you, it's, it makes you dance. Diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee, diddly dee. It's just me and him, though. Mm-hmm. Although, I think there's somebody behind me, but it's, Take a look and see who's behind you. What do you see? I'm trying to see. It's kind of dark behind behind me there. Mm-hmm. What's dark? I can't see behind me. Mm-hmm. How does it feel? It feels all right. This dark forest. Mm-hmm. And the the um, fire is nice and bright and orange. 
Very it's good. comfortable. It's nice there. It's not nothing. There's nothing mean around. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything else interesting in the scene? Well, if there's diamonds there, oh, it's almost like the ground is covered in diamonds. Mm -hmm. Take a look. I'd like for you now to let's find out what that ground looks like. Close that scene and let's take a a look at that ground from a different perspective. I'm in a tree and mm -hmm. I'm looking down. Mm -hmm. Like I'm swinging my legs, but it's not big enough that I'm not gonna fall. What do you see from up there? I see the ground is brown, like sandy, but there are, there's like diamond trails. Mm-hmm. Diamond trails. So everything's shiny on yeah. the outside? Well, not everything, but just the trails. Mm -hmm. Like that's what we did. We made trails out of diamonds. Mm -hmm. I almost want to say that somebody wants our diamonds and we can't let them have them. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't be good. But they're not going to be forceful. So we're okay. okay. I think they just want them because they like them, but they're not going to they're not gonna hurt anybody to get them. They're bigger. The bigger, they're bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, what do, what do uh, I don't know what they look like, though. They almost look like a diamond. They look like a diamond, but brown. Mm -hmm. They're like... Oh, no, I don't know. What the heck? I don't even know what the heck they are. They're, they're nice, though. They're not going to bother us, but... Mm -hmm. We can even give them a couple diamonds. They use the diamonds for their eyes. For their eyes. Yeah. It what helps they, them see. What do they look like? Do they have legs or arms? Mm. It's almost like they're like in a cloak, like a brown, like a, a La Monk would wear, but mm -hmm. but they're it's just like a diamond and inverted. Mm hmm And they walk around and they put they give them the diamonds, they put them where your eyes would be and that's how they see. Hmm. Interesting. Are there many of these? There's one, and yeah, there's a lot of them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what we call them. I don't know if we call them anything. I think we're used to them, but I certainly are not. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Because there's <coughs> nothing to describe them. Mm -hmm. They don't have legs and arms. They just have a form, mm -hmm. upside down diamond, brown. and then. But when you give them the eyes, then they start making sense. Only when you give them the eyes, and then you're then they get like a head around them and make sense. Almost like they're so shadowed mm -hmm. that you don't really see them. And then when you give them the diamonds, they put them where their eyes are supposed to be, and that's what you see. And then you see a little bit of glow, and they take shape a little bit on the eye. Then they make then they look more like something you can talk to. Mm -hmm. Not human or anything, and they're not animal. They're just something you can talk to. How do they move? Uh, they just, they just kind of glide. But you know that it almost looks like there's legs, but there's not. They just push forward. Mm-hmm. Uh, and they, and they just they can appear and disappear too if they want. Okay. Yeah, that's that's easy for them. Okay. So, Barbara, let's close that scene and let's go to another interesting scene in that lifetime when it impacted you. Let's go to that scene now. Be there. I like my horse. Mm-hmm. What's your horse look like? He's, he's a lot bigger than me, so I really don't even know how the heck I get on him. I don't even think I get on him. Mm-hmm. He's just a regular horse, but he's big. Brown. All brown. Mm-hmm. A lot of brown. And I can communicate. I can talk to him without talking. It's, there's a telepathy, and it's easy. So, what is it that you're talking about today? The wind. The wind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The wind. Tell me about your conversation about the wind. Well, the wind there is different. It's like it could be windy, right where you're standing, coming like a cone, and you can move out of the way of it. 
So we just kind of like let it blow on our I don't know if I have hair, but the horse does, and it just blows its mane, like, and and it's cool, it's nice, he likes that, and then, I guess it's a hay horse, mm -hmm. and then, um, uh, he, he, just, he just did, he just stepped to the right, and the wind keeps going, but he's not in the wind anymore, hmm. so he's kind of just playing with me, he's messing around. Is he your companion? Yeah, he's pretty, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's why I don't even ride him. We walk together. So what is it that you're doing today? Today, Where are you going? <sighs> Look around you. Describe your surroundings. Again, it's just the flowers. But, the, you know, it's a meadow. It's a, it's a rolling. Mm -hmm. There's water way ahead. Okay. I think I'm going... I think we're going to eventually go down the water. All right. And Maybe. there's really no hurry to do anything. That's kind of cool. So make your way to the water and let's see what's there. Oh, yeah, I'm there already. I got there quick. I didn't. Have, it's far away, but I just get there. Mm-hmm. And he's with me. What is your name? Your horse's name? I'm thinking name? it's another B, Br. Mm -hmm. But more like Bronco, but it's not Bronco. Bronchi? Bronchi. 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 With a, but it's the K mm -hmm. on key, and it's you, we don't have those letters here. We're, the letters they uh, it sounds like key. Mm -hmm. uh, those letters, the like the E or the Y, it wouldn't be Y. It would be just mm -hmm. it's a weird letter. It's got like a looks like an E with stuff on top. Of it. Mm -hmm. Bronchi, Bronchi. So what are you and Bronchi doing by the water now? What kind of water is this? It's a stream. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you can look in a stream and get messages. All right. Let's find out what the, what the stream is telling you today. Oh, I don't know. I get a glimpse, but I can't focus. Mm-hmm. You don't have to focus. You just connect. I wash my face. Just dab my face in the water. With the water. Mm-hmm. I gotta go somewhere. I'm not sure, though. You all right. Tell me I gotta go. Does the water go higher or something? This is what? Did the water tell you you have to go? Not the water, but the water is just a reflection of what the... What is telling me? I guess it's my own mind telling me I gotta go. Mm -hmm. But the water just kind of wakes my mind up to tell me. Okay. And uh, it's hard to say. We don't think like we do here. Mm-hmm. We gotta go. We gotta go to the left. All right. Tell me what's in the left. It's a whiter diamond. It's a diamond in the air. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. A diamond in the air? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, um, if we get in there, it could take you places like far. Mm-hmm. Tell me what happens. I don't know. I got a little anxious for a minute. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to go away. Why do I got to go away? Wait, I didn't go away. I know I got to do it. I'm mustering up the strength. And it's like, I already know I'm strong enough. But in my, like my solar plexus, I'm like, I got to just just do it. And then I gotta go away and it takes me, it takes, now it takes you up and to the right. Mm-hmm. This diamond? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does the diamond have anything inside? Oh. Uh, it says a circular table, a leg big table, but inside it's round. 
Mm-hmm. Not a diamond. So That's the definite. outside was a diamond, and yeah, the inside it's, it's a round. Yeah, it's round. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's sterile. Mm-hmm. Very sterile, very clean, very, like, alumina Mm-hmm. There's, there's, there's things in there. What kind of things? What are you experiencing? Yeah, they're, I think, I think I know what they are. What are they? <sighs> they're a little round head guys. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Describe them for me. They're not real nice. They're nice, but they're not real nice. They're mm-hmm. just... They got a mission to do, and they don't care how they, they... Well, they don't care. They care, but they got a mission, and you're just going for the ride no matter what. And mm-hmm. They don't really... They don't smile or anything like that. I had joy down to the, uh, the plants and the flowers and the horse, and now up here, it's more like... I'm up here because... Because they... Because I'm supposed to be, because I can, uh, I don't guide them, I don't guide them. They know where they're going. I, well, I'm supposed to do something when I get there. All right. And I do stuff like that. How often do you do this? <sighs> it's a lot of times. Mm-hmm. And I need you once in a while. I don't know if the time, there's no time. It's a, last time was just, you know, mm-hmm. doesn't, there's no really time. There's so when you're riding in this diamond, do you look anything different? It's round, it's round when you're inside. Mm-hmm. Look at your body. Does your body change when you're in this diamond? Where should I look? My feet, my legs? Mm-hmm. Whatever you see first, you could pull out your hand. I'll look at my hand. Do you look any different? Well, I'm kind of hairy. Mm-hmm. I'm not. My hand is... I just want to say I got a horse foot, but that's just silly. That's weird. I almost got a horse foot, but I can make it into a gripping mm-hmm. hand, too. Mm-hmm. Like the top is a horse hoof, like you'd see here, but it's different. What do your legs look like? <laughs> They're stumpy. Mm-hmm. They're hairy too. I'm hairier than anywhere else I would be. Mm-hmm. I'm like furry almost. Almost like a... Oh, I don't know what I am. What does your face look like? It's no longer, I don't have a mustache like I did. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not human. What do you look like? What does your face look like? I like a rabbit. Like a rabbit? Like a rabbit mouse, mm-hmm. rat mole, whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's flat, I'm flat, my face is flatter and it's definitely, it's an, I'm an intelligent being. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's because of the wind. You got the hair on your face because of the wind. Mm -hmm. When the wind hits you down there, it's strong. So what do they call you when you're up here? Do you have a name? Begins with a Y. It's not pronounceable. Yuck. Say my name. Yow. It's hard to say in here, in, in my voice, Yauka or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yauka, Yauka. Yeah, with a real, like you gotta drop Yauka. Mm-hmm. You gotta drop the little, your chin down to say it, Yauka. Mm-hmm. That's a cool name, Yauka. And do these little round head beings, do they speak with you? They just tell you where to go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like I said, they're not real. 
No, no they're fun. No, they don't really want to talk. They got a thing to do, and they're just doing it. So what are they doing with you? What's your purpose there? I don't know. It's not in there. That's where we're going. All right. So we're let's going up to the right. Up to the right. Mm -hmm. So see yourself arriving in this place where you're supposed oh, to be. There's bigger rocks and boulders in this place. Let me see what else. Got to be more than that. I don't know what the heck they are. That's mineral. That's that's an energy source. Hmm. The boulders are. Tell what, me about What do that. I do with them, though? I analyze them. Mm -hmm. They can't feel. I can feel them. Mm -hmm. They need me to feel which ones are the most energetic. To bring back wherever they go. I don't know where they go. I don't know where I've never been where they go. Mm -hmm. Those minerals, they're huge. They're, just, you walk on them. But they're not all sourced. What does sourced mean? Sourced. Okay. I can feel where the areas of the minerals, and they're not really minerals, they're just huge rocks, but they're like, like diamonds or like crystals with a little gray tint, but I can feel where the light comes out. I can feel where that one's strong and you take a piece of it and that propels their their unit. They're, they don't call it a ship, they call it like a unit. Mm -hmm. So they use me to analyze their energy that propels them. Mm-hmm. So you're looking for their fuel? Perhaps? Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's fuel, but it's not fuel like we have here. Mm -hmm. It's rock. It's it's a light fuel. Not all the whole place has it, but just I know where it's at. Mm-hmm. I know where it's at, and I just tell them, and I show them. I don't really grab it. I just show them where it's at, and then they do something with it. I don't know if they suck it out and put it in their almost said boat. Mm-hmm. But it's like a unit. Not a ship, a unit, they call it. Let's see if you could see them taking it out. <sighs> yeah, they just have a long tube. Mm -hmm. And it just sucks it out. It sucks out the light. And the light goes in back into the, into the triangle. Mm -hmm. See, we're outside now, so it's a triangle. It's a triangle. Flat or upside down? How did now it... it's up right side up. Okay. The point's top up. So maybe when it was moving, maybe they have to fuel it the other way. But it's definitely fueled with light, and I know where the light is. They can't see it, or they can. They can. They, they're just different. They just don't feel like I do. Mm -hmm. They don't have feeling. They have feelings, but they're, they're just like I'm mission people. Yes. Yeah. So let's see where you go next. Close that scene and <sighs> go to the next important scene of that lifetime. I'm already back. Mm -hmm. I didn't even go back. I did. I'm just back. Yes. I didn't have to travel. And I'm back, and it's just happy again. It's the the temperature over there where I'm at is always nice, mm -hmm. and it, and the breeze is nice. Except for the wind channels or tunnels, but they they form a purpose too. What's the, the purpose? Wind, the wind channels dig. They dig. I wonder if that's where we get the diamonds. The wind channels dig, and 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 make like little craters. You know, not really huge or anything. And that's where we go and pick the diamonds. Hmm. And they're small. They're only a, they're like a quarter. Yeah, maybe bigger than that. Like a uh, baseball. Mm -hmm. But they're they're not round. They're they're, they're pointy and diamondy. And then we put them around and we make paths with them. And I'm wondering. Because that black diamond, the brown diamond, he wanted them. 
wasn't going to steal them. Maybe he's connected with the guys up top that took me to the big diamonds that are... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's the one that can tell me what I got to do. Hmm. And that's and then I get in the ship, and then I go and I find the energy from the diamonds. And these little guys, all they do is they're just mission guys. They don't really talk. And <laughs> so, they're harmless. So what is the, the whole reason for them going out there? Just to fuel their ship? Fuel. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. This is fuel. Just for them to keep going? Yeah, then they go, and I don't know where they go. They go far. Yes. Yeah, they go far, and they have a mission, and I'm not really interested in knowing. All I am is I'm the guy, I'm the feeler. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit more. Let's close that scene. Let's go to another important scene in your lifetime there, something that has impacted your life. Be there now. I'm down back on a wooden table. Not on it, you know, just sitting around it. But I'm, I'm inventing something pretty cool. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It's gonna fuel. It's. It's gonna harness. It's gonna harness the diamond. It's gonna harness harness the diamond, so I don't have to go up to that place. With them. I'm creating something that's making the light. From the diamonds we have, so they can just come here, and they're just—they're borrowing it. They're not really taking it; they're stealing it. They—they can come here. I don't have to get in a ship, and I don't have to go, because I made something to harness the small diamonds here. And I can stay and hang out. Do you have any family? Ah, oh. I don't think so. Mm hmm. I have friends, cousins, Yes, you would call them, but I don't have a family. I don't have time for any of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have time. I like to do my own thing. Mm -hmm. That's why I don't want to go on a darn ship again. Because it takes away from me doing... What just you, being. What you love to do. I just like to be. Mm -hmm. I just like to be. And maybe dig or something. So Barbara, let's see another scene in your life. Close that scene. Let's go to another time when something very important is happening in your life. Yeah, we like to party. We like to have music. Music is our Music is our, kind of like our energy. Mm -hmm. And we, we just have a big outdoor party with fires. And people just love it. And they have fun and they laugh and they play music and tell jokes. And there's nothing bad there. Do you see any of the other inhabitants of this place? Yeah, they kind of look... I swear they just look like trolls. Like trolls? Yeah, like hairy dudes. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Are they know. male and females? Or do they feminine, have yeah, there's feminine. Mm -hmm. there's, there's softer. Yeah, they're nice. They're softer. Mm -hmm. I like them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they're soft and they're... They understand you. Mm -hmm. They get you. They, they're, and they're gentle. They get you, they're gentle, and they... What the heck do they do? They give you energy through, like, in your stomach. Like, mm. in your... They give me energy. Just because they can. Tell and it's a, nice. Take a look at some of these <clears throat> and see if there's any of there that you recognize in the life of Jack. Oh, I... <laughs> uh, Bob, I have a friend named Bob. I'm, he's, yeah. Mm -hmm. You uh, recognize Bob? Yeah. I don't. He doesn't look like he did, but I know it's him. He, I, he doesn't look like he does, but I know it's him. Mm -hmm. I see if there's any. I don't know. My, the 
eyes of the window to the soul. Eyes. <clears throat> You'll know by their energy if you recognize them. You, know, you said the eyes. Are, we have big eyes. Mm -hmm. My sister's there. My this sister's there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she likes to be the fire maker. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's nice. She's sweet. Not my sister. That yeah, she's not somebody that would give me the light, the energy. Mm -hmm. So. I'm not, she says it must be related, because mm -hmm. I don't want to like, I don't want to get her energy, her energy. She's nice though. And when you get the energy from another one, does that feel? <laughs> it's <laughs> feel good. It's like yeah, it's it's like we got a thing going. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, do you find any that you're is giving you energy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one. I was talking about before, and it gives you energy right in your solar plexus, and it kind of just makes you feel just calm and happy and awake. And you have a connection mm -hmm. with that, I'd say, person. You have an instant connection like you've known them forever. Mm -hmm. Like I know, I want to say her, but I don't know if it's a her. It's a her. I like her. Does she look familiar? I don't. Does she feel familiar? Anybody that you know in the lifetime of Jack? I just see my mom. Mm-hmm. My mom, this mom. It's mom? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but she's not my mom there. Yes. But you have a connection. Yeah, mm -hmm. for a long time. Like, yeah, there's no time. Time is like, this can go on, like, you look up at the sky and it just keeps going. Mm -hmm. That's the connection we have and I can just tell her, she knows everything. Mm -hmm. She's getting closer to it, she's getting closer. Like, it's not my mom this time. It's the first being that I really liked. And she's getting almost close, like two feet away from me, and she's just like, almost whispering in my ear. What does she say? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. It'll come as thoughts. Oh. I'm gonna supposed to take her to the river next time I go. Mm -hmm. She wants to see the reflection too. How do you feel about that? I feel okay, but I don't want her to go up in the ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't want her to. I don't want them to use her. It's kind of what I feel like they do. They, they, I feel like they just use you. They don't really have any, like... I don't want to say salt. Like, about feelings. Mm -hmm. So I feel like... I yeah, she don't have to. I don't want her going up there. But if I go down the river with her, we can go to the right instead of up to the left, and that's... Will that be different? Yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's downstream. Mm. What's the difference? There's trees. Mm -hmm. Like, um, big root systems on them. So they're not like the trees in the forest where we were doing the, the party, the fires. Those are like big giant pines, redwoods, like that, but they're not redwoods. And then these ones are like like well, the Japanese kind of trees. Mm -hmm. I forget, you know. Bonsai? The one, yeah, 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 yeah. With the rig, your big, huge root systems. And you can actually climb around and play in them. Hmm. And we just play and have fun. You can swing. You can swing from one to the other. And our whole purpose is to have fun. <laughs> to enjoy it. 
And those beings, they take you away from that. That's not cool. Mm -hmm. But we have fun. We have a blast. We have, we're fun peop people. Or music and swinging and dancing and and the diamonds. It's we're cool. We're fun. <laughs> So, Barbara, let's close that scene. And let's go now to when you're older, mm, towards yeah. the end of your life okay, now. Okay, okay. Yeah, I know I can go now. How old do you feel there? Oh, gosh, 900 years old. Mm-hmm. I'm ready to go. Because if I go, I experience other things. I'm not sad. But I am. I feel heavier, mm -hmm. thicker. And I'm gonna go when we go. We just like mm -hmm. like up into the. It's up and backwards, mm -hmm. and that's how we go. All right, so go ahead and select <clears throat> the right time for you to go ahead and transition and tell me what what happens. It's real dark. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's dark, it's dark, it's dark, it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. We just become, you know what we become is the sky. Mm -hmm. But it, right now it's dark. I don't know if I saw like a blue sky in our, in our flower area. But at night when we're doing a fire, it's dark. So it's dark there. Mm -hmm. And we become that darkness. Not a bad darkness. It's a good darkness. We become everything. So we can see everything that's going on down there and now we're the protectors of them mm -hmm. that's all we did we transitioned into protectors and we're not really anything I don't think we're the sky we're the darkness we're the we're the everything mm -hmm. are you also the wind <sighs> move with it move mm -hmm. with it mm -hmm. I don't know if I create it and we don't create anything we're just we, we blanket. So we, no, we don't blanket. We are, we are one as the darkness. One, one as the darkness that protects everything around it. And in, in, in it. Not around it. In it. We are like the egg. The shell of the egg. But we're dark. That's just not really explainable. Mm-hmm. Who do you it's protect? It's feelable. It's feelable. I feel like love. Mm hmm I protect everything. No matter what it is? Or just that? No, because we, 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 yeah, we protect everything. Mm -hmm. Even if it's, there's no bad. Because mm -hmm. we are, we don't, we don't believe in bad. We believe in compassion. So tell me who we are now, as you transition into that. We are more of a feeling. Mm -hmm. I guess here we call it an energy, but it has substance, but it's it's more of an energy of color. No, it's hard to like when fog, like like fog, but we're thinner. Mm -hmm and darker we're just everything we're not really anything but we're everything and so, the main thing is love it's just there it's just boom nothing's gonna worry us so how does love and everything decide to take on another body well it came from that body and it became everything. Oh, 
everything is just everything. I don't know if I can come pick in a, a, another body. Mm -hmm. mm. You got me on stumped on that. Mm -hmm. You you asked the wrong question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the it can't be anything like we see, mm -hmm. but it's everything we don't see. I see. Yeah, you see. <laughs> you know, you know, you see. I know you see now. So uh, uh, how is it that you? It's nice when everybody sees. <laughs> uh, and then you're part of us, mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, so how does it relate to Jack and Jack's life? I'm back to being a little boy. Mm-hmm. And when I gaze up, and there's that feeling of, not emptiness, but vastness. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm so protected and so huge. Not in form, but in, like when you're, when you're so confident, and just know that everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And that's the source. Mm -hmm. So one day I'll become the source. Because just like, I don't think his name was Barber. Mm -hmm. But he, whatever, we'll call him Barber, but it's not his name. Mm -hmm. He went to source. He went to source. And source, he was the source. He was part of the source. But you're not part of it, you are it. Mm -hmm. And everything else is it too. So when one transitions out of a, out of a body, <sighs> It becomes, we become source again. We become it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not called source. See, we try to put a name on it because that's what we do here. Mm -hmm. There you don't have to put a name on it because you feel it. You just it. Just it. Mm -hmm. All protecting force and source and just the it. Mm -hmm. Everybody becomes the it. So why did it choose to be this barber on this planet? What was that life all about? That life was just to be like a doctor of the field that they were in. Mm -hmm. Find out as much as I could from where I was there. Mm -hmm. And as I took the plants and I tried to make medicine and we took the diamonds, we lay them out in a road, we realized that we're just there to have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we knew it all along. Yes. Yeah. So how does that relate to Jack's life now? What are you trying to sh tell him about by showing him that life? Does he still... Does he Stop still... worrying. Mm -hmm. To be in the... In, in, the cliche is in the moment. But it's more than that. It's in the end. It's the, being in the everything instead of trying to be in the something. Mm -hmm. There's a huge difference. Being in everything, being in everything is peace. Trying is trying, and trying isn't peace. Mm -hmm. We try and we try and we try to do this and we try to be that and we try to understand this and that. And it's like we struggle so much here to try to be something. When we really are everything. Mm -hmm. We're in this place. So why do we come to this place? That's heavy. Mm -hmm. It's because of what I just said. Mm -hmm. 
So we figure out that trying to be isn't what it's all about. Can't do that anywhere else. Here it's heavy. Mm -hmm. Here it's heavy. Is this, I mean, is this the only yeah. planet like that? It's not planets. Hmm. What is it? Okay, so the whole being is the whole everything. It's stories. Hmm. We go to a story. Earth is a story. Uh, life is a story. We go to the story to fulfill the story, to have a start and an end. Hmm. And we can do anything when we're in source, when we're in the dark, the, nah, I hate saying dark because here we say dark is bad. The void, perhaps? No, no, because no. a void would be, a void to me seems like it's missing. Mm -hmm. It's to the everything. Okay. It's like when you look up in the sky, it's like being in the sky. You know when you look in the sky and you see forever? Yes. Now go to forever and the whole sky is surrounding you. Hmm. That's being with the being. Mm -hmm. Ah, we can't explain it. <laughs> we can't. We can't explain it. Our words don't work. Mm -hmm. It. The only thing that works is my solar plexus. Mm -hmm. That feeling, like when you're just about to giggle, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you get that little little t tumble in your solar plexus. Mm -hmm. That's what it feels like up there. But we go and we go to stories and we go to learn things. And that, that's what you could call like a planet. Like you said, a planet. Mm -hmm. It's more, I would say, more dimension. It's more of a dimension. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you, you go and you're there. You don't go and land on a planet. You go, you're there. Boom. Mm -hmm. you, have, you, you have a purpose. Like Barber, his purpose was to learn, huh, you know, about plants and diamonds and energy and and then he realized when he passes or moves on that it's just it's everything mm -hmm. we can't explain it though so what is jack's purpose here <sighs> i see a candle mm -hmm. I heard heal. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to heal? No, he's supposed to help heal people. Mm -hmm. In what way? I don't know. I saw the candle. I feel my solar plexus is good. Light, music, light, light. Sound. He's involved with music. Yeah, maybe. Is he using the music to heal people? <sighs> Pitchfork. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That means vibration heals people. Mm -hmm. Frequency heals people. Not so much the music that we hear, but the music we feel. The vibrations that, oh, when they get really close together, they heal. And then they just go fly and like go all bing. Right there's the, the, the bing. The last part of the bing is the tightness of it. Mm -hmm. Bing right there is where, he, where we heal. That <laughs> vibration. Hmm. We can heal from vibrations. So is that why he is writing music now? Yeah, but he's not going to be able to. Uh, we're not there yet with the vibrational. We're not there. We can't harness the vibration yet. So 
the next best, best thing is the music itself, mm -hmm. where our ears, ears hear it through vibration. Of course, we know why how our ears hear things. So right now, we hear the vibration of sound. Of, and when it's music, the, it, it's per, more perfect. Mm -hmm. And if we can harness that perfection, we can heal anything. Hmm. We're ways away from that, though. Yeah. Yeah. Has anybody been, has he been channeling some of these songs? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Who is oh, he connecting to? Oh, he's ca connecting to <sighs> different, 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 not one person, but uh, internet, <sighs> it's hard to say. They just come in and they smile and they say, it's my turn. Hmm. And boom, I want him to have this message. And then he has it and he writes it. And they're funny. They're like, they, 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 they like bid for the next, the next time they can go and say, I want this message for this song. Mm -hmm. I'm not the only one they do it to, of course. Mm -hmm. so, but they, they, they're like, no, it's my turn. I'm bidding. Oh, no, 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 it's your turn. Now, what kind of music is he? Is he channeling? Is this supposed to be affecting people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's... Sometimes it's looking at the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't get a great feeling of what the people are feeling. But the truth... If they can feel the truth, they can get over the bad feeling about it. Mm-hmm. And then realize that that's what they're supposed to see or feel is the truth. And some of it's happy. But it is. It's a, it's a fix. It's a, it's a fixing the feelings that don't let the person move forward. Hmm. So like an adjustment? Yeah. A song adjust, a, 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 yeah. An adjustment from a song? The song makes them realize through truth that truth is the answer that they can go forward and seek. Before that, they were kind of stuck with not knowing that they can do it. Mm -hmm. And it's not, it's, a, it's just a speck. My song is a speck and like an ocean of mm -hmm. sand. Mm -hmm. But the sand, that little speck, gives the people hope. Hmm. So his songs are messages of hope? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's his purpose? Oh, it's, he's just a messenger. Mm -hmm. and the purpose of these, whatever they are, telling him to do it so that somebody else can hear it and they can propel forward. That's the goal. I'm not really the goal. I'm, I'm saying I'm, but I'm not seeing me. I'm seeing the messenger. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's just easy. How many of these guides are there helping him? Oh, they're all over. <laughs> you don't, I don't, I don't know it. Yeah, he does. He knows it. Mm -hmm. He knows, but he's like, just like who's sending the source or the sound or the song or the message. Mm -hmm. I'm playing the bidding game to get the message from them as they played a bidding game to send the message to me. Mm, okay. So it's all in jest. It's fun. It's okay. Mm -hmm. no, no, there's no competition. Because we're all going to get the message, and the message is going to go forward to somebody that's going to use it. So is this the career that he should be choosing? <sighs> Songwriting? Or is there... He doesn't have a choice. He doesn't have a choice. No. Mm -hmm. When you take away the sun, <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't feel the heat. Mm -hmm. You know? And 
and the sun is always going to be there. Yeah. So there's really no choice in the matter. <laughs> oh, that's what you're there for. You're there. When you're there for it, you can try to deny it because your humanness tries to deny a lot of things. But there's always that solar plexus area that's going to tell you, why don't you feel good? It's because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. You know, it yeah. kind of kicks you in the butt. <laughs> but what about all the other jobs that he's doing? Oh, Should he continue to do too. them? They help too. They help in a different way. Mm -hmm. So he, he, should he continue doing all these other things that he, he enjoys? He can. Mm -hmm. Let's put it this way. He can help 20 people today doing the other things he's doing. He could help 20 million doing the other thing because mm -hmm. of how it gets out there. The message is received so many more times through a song mm -hmm. than it is through a team. Mm -hmm. Yes. Or through one person helping them when you're working on them and you have you say the right thing to them that absolutely help them yeah but you're only helping one well, and i shouldn't say but mm -hmm. i should say you're helping one mm -hmm. i'm helping 25 on a team yes but when i let go of the message of a song that frequency just goes everywhere it's mm -hmm. neat what about the books? He seems to be getting pulled towards that, too. The books is exactly what I was just talking about. Mm -hmm. But how do you write about something you can't speak about? Yes. If you can't put it in words, I guess you got to talk about your feelings. Mm -hmm. The books are going to come later, though. Not now. No. Well... They're always there. Yeah, they're in the now. They're they're already done. Yes. But they're not ready to be. Not ready to be released? Yeah. Okay. Now, when you just have made that comment, the books are in the now, everything that we are living and will be living is in the now? It's in the everything. Mm-hmm. The now... The now is part of the everything. Mm -hmm. Is it where we're focusing our yeah, attention? Yeah, we say the now because we say the now and because it's supposed to be right now. Mm -hmm. But the now can be a thousand times over in the everything. Hmm. Does that make sense? Not really. <laughs> Hmm. There's many nows in space and in, 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 in the everything. The everything is the is the darkness that I saw. Mm -hmm. Is the overcoming is it's the overcoming it. And there could be a thousand nows in that. Okay. You know? Mm hmm But since we use now as a time reference, mm, the everything is more It's more of an engulfing presence. Now, can a person have many different nows happening simultaneously? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Is that different dimensions? Is that parallel lives? How does that work? Could there be one Jack that hasn't been... Oh, there's thousands of them. Mm -hmm. That hasn't written music at all? Or are they all writing music? They're pretty much doing the same thing. Okay. Yeah. Do we switch back and forth between our nows? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We already have. Mm -hmm. we are, we, every interest we have is a now. Okay. Every interest from a child to when you're a little kid and you want to play a game. I was thinking ice skating. Mm -hmm. That's a now. When you want to learn something, that's a now. When you want to be with somebody, that's a now. 
when you dip your toe in the ocean, that's a now. Mm -hmm. Every moment, everything you do is a now, and it can happen anywhere. At the same time, even. Hmm. That's a pretty big concept. It is very con. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you think about, if you think about the everything, the it. as being possible of doing everything or anything, mm -hmm. then whatever you can imagine, and I'm, I just did it. Okay. I imagined it, so I, I imagined the it. I, the, it was already done. Mm -hmm. the, it, it did it. <laughs> the imagination, I just imagined that, and that moment, we want to call the now, just happened. Okay. So we can actually be switching from one moment of now to another just by setting a different intention. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And do people notice these different moments of now, like that? Deja vu. Deja vu, yeah. okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Deja vu, a feeling of I've been here before. Yes. Feeling of I, you know, I'm good at this. Mm -hmm. Why am I so good at this? I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have. Sure you have, and you can do it again. It's a concept where it's hard for us to understand. Mm -hmm. It sure is. It is. Now he wants to know about some experiences that he had when he was very young. Was he abducted before by extraterrestrials? I already said he was. <laughs> he was just in a different form. See, when you go into that, you said a void earlier. That's a good description of when you go into the ship. Mm -hmm. You feel a void. Almost like that ship is trying to cut through the it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, he did. He did too. He did too. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the boy. The, the, uh, when he was a boy, he did. Mm -hmm. Were they the same? <sighs> were they the same? No, no. They were like, these were the future of the ones that Barber went to. Hmm. These are future beings. So they actually, through studying people, they got a glimpse of emotions. So they can either, it's almost, it might be a copy of our emotions, mm -hmm. but they can finally feel them. So they're not as cold as the barber ones. Okay. They're not as blank and they don't have, their mission is a little bit more broad and we help them. In what way? Uh, find an emotion. Okay. So, say you're emotionless. You don't feel. It would be very dull. It would be very robotic. Mm -hmm. They came and they saw that we had this thing that they didn't have. And through talking with us, we call it abduction. They can study us and they can get emotion. That's what they want. Mm -hmm. They want the joy too. Everybody thinks extraterrestrials are so advanced. They are in some ways, but they're so not advanced in other ways like emotions and feelings. And I want to say, like, when you look at a little puppy or a little baby, we get that little feeling. They don't feel that yet, and they want to. That's why they study us. And they trade. They plant, like, inventions in our brain and trade for a little glimpse of emotion. Hmm. 
That's the trade-off. So yes. what did they implant? What kind of... They implant everything that we've done. Hmm. Like if you want to look at computers, they gave us that. They said, you're ready. We're going to give you... Oh, here we call it a manual, the schematics. We're giving you that, and I want to feel a little bit of what you feel. And we're giving them feelings. Mm -hmm. What did they give little Jack? I don't know. He's sitting in a tree looking at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so they have to get it. I gave it to him in a human form that was like a rock, like a crystal again. Mm -hmm. Something big with crystals. So they gave him a, a crystal? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, though. I think you can look in there and see things. What did he see? Emotions. Mm -hmm. Other people's emotions. He saw what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. He right. can feel how other people feel. Is he an empath? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That little guy especially. He feels before he sees or hears. Is that why he had so much trouble? Yeah. 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 And there's... He sees the bad in people. There there's, has to be bad in people. I don't understand it. He doesn't understand it, but he can see it. And bad, I guess bad is just, uh, I don't know if it's just a word, I guess, but he can see that he better turn around and go the other way. Mm -hmm. He can see when people are down, and he's got a gift to help them lift up. And he did that from the boy in the tree looking at that thing. And that was given from the extraterrestrials. Mm -hmm. Why was he so frightened? Why was little Jack so frightened? <sighs> of the unknown. Mm. That's a big thing, man. Okay, so on Earth we feel, we touch, we taste, we see. And we mostly we feel solid in this. Mm -hmm. And we understand it because it's solid. Say somebody said, I'm going to turn you into a vapor, send you somewhere, turn you back into a solid, and I want to talk to you, and I want you to tell me how you feel. That's freaking scary for a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> mm, is that what they did to him? Yeah. Mm. That's how they do it. That's how they do it. You don't beam up. You turn you, into a vapor? You, you turn into a, a, a... Again, we don't have the word for it, but it's like a gas. Okay. Like we take our form, we take it away temporarily so that we can travel through anything and through any time, mm -hmm. and then we can be back into our form mm -hmm. and see I feel real heavy my neck hurts right now because I'm pushing the pillow down because mm -hmm. that's earth earth is heavy mm -hmm. <sighs> earth's really heavy gravity mm -hmm. gravity is a killer So little boy, he's got a, he sees everything, he feels everything, and now he's grown up, now he's got to put it in words for other people to help them. Mm -hmm. But he says that he felt that this happened again when he was older. That he met with them again, and he wasn't as frightened. Yeah. It felt like more of a friendship. What happened then? I gave him feelings. Mm -hmm. For the first time, they can feel what I feel. Mm -hmm. And if you can do that, that's a bonding. Mm -hmm. 
They're happy about that. So who are they? Do they do they watch him? Are they connected? Do they have a contract with him? No, they do. They do. No, they do. No, they do. Before they didn't. So what is the contract now with the extraterrestrials and Jack? Experience the things. Experience the same things on different planes. Mm -hmm. When I pass on like Barbara did, mm -hmm. we go to the it. When they pass on, they go to the it. They're no different than us. Mm -hmm. They're just having a different experience. So does Jack continue to have contact with these extraterrestrials now? He's gonna. He is. He hasn't in a while. Mm -hmm. Will he know that they're coming? Or do they just show up? No, he knows. He does? Yeah, he gets the feeling. Mm -hmm. Gets the feeling, like, like kind of like when you know the rain's coming. Mm -hmm. So in the future, when these friends of his show up, is there a way that he could be a little bit more proactive with them? So, mm. consciously? You're looking, you, that question is, that question you ask is, how can they give to him so that he can give to this society? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I wish it was as simple as that. Well, actually, it is as simple as that, but it's not as profound as you want to believe. Mm. If you touch one soul with positive, and that soul is infinite, you just spread positiveness infinitively. Help one person. They help another person. We'll put it in that terms because that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. They help one person just because you help them. And sometimes you don't even know you're helping them. And it goes on and on and on and on. And we all think that we have to cure the world because we see this world here. If I tell one person, if I help one person and I help another person, I help another person. The infinite of that is when they go back to the it. Mm. And the it becomes even greater. If we're all part of the it, and by helping somebody in this form makes the it greater, and we've done a great service. Mm, okay. I know it's confusing. Well, but if, for example, the extraterrestrials that are helping Jen, mm -hmm. if they could provide him with something that could help humanity. Sure. That would be of great service to humanity. Yeah, yeah, it would. But he, that he could remember. Yeah, he, but his, his, his gift, mm -hmm. if you want to say a gift, is feeling. Mm. You would have to give it to somebody like Hawkins or somebody like that mm -hmm. if you wanted some sort of computer or something. Yes. So that he can invent that. Mm. Jack doesn't invent that. Okay. Jack is a feeling person. Which is just as important. Yeah, so you need to give him perhaps a song that will reach around the world. That Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Or reach around to the end. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good. How can he better communicate with his guides? He's doing it right now. He is? Yeah. Okay, so he already knows that. No, no, I mean this way. Oh, this way. Getting... Getting into the thickness of consciousness. 
becoming lighter on earth, becoming more aware, taking time to ask, and then putting yourself in a position to hear. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've done. You've put them in the thickness to hear, to feel that vibration. So will this continue? Yeah. Very good. Oh, yeah. It's just the beginning. Where will this go from now? When, when you can share everything that you have with another person telepathically, that's the word we use, mm -hmm. that's huge. Mm -hmm. And that keeps going. If everybody could understand everybody and everything, would be understandable. Mm. But we would be the it, wouldn't we? Mm -hmm. You got it. <laughs> We're not there yet. We're always there. <laughs> We're always there. We come here, we forget it. Yes. Isn't that the reason why we come here? We for come here. We come here for to forget the lessons mm -hmm. to bring back to the it to expand the it. Mm -hmm. Is that the bottom line of That's why we're it. here? Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. And if you could go somewhere, and here I'll give you an example. If I could cure everybody of cancer or cure everybody of depression, you would get that feeling that, that we give to the it by learning here. Hmm. It's so big that we would be it's so happy for ourselves and for everybody else and that we were the ones to carry that gift by curing people. I'm going to just use curing people just mm -hmm. because it's understandable. Mm -hmm. That feeling that we would be so proud and so happy. That's the it. That's part of the it. It's hard to explain. When I do something as simple as learning anything, to tie my shoe, and I bring it back to the it, the it loves me for that. <laughs> and the it, and I love giving to the it, and that's when we discover that the it is love personified. Mm. So anytime we do something that is exciting for us, yeah. is exciting for us. The it smiles. <laughs> mm. Well, the it must smile a lot when I finish a session. <laughs> ah. uh, the it claps. <laughs> it is. It's joyous. It's joyous. Mm -hmm. It goes on forever. Yes. You can't understand it. You, you will. Mm. You will. Yes. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about soulmate. <sighs> Is he going to be meeting more soulmates as he lives here? Mm. We all come from the same place. Mm -hmm. Let's say you're a pebble in the in the, in the sea of in the sea. Mm -hmm. And we just go, we just roll with the tide and we can end up anywhere. And there's so many little pebbles. We brush up against this pebble and that pebble and that experience and this experience. It's, that is the soulmate. Mm -hmm. We've already been in touch with them. We already brushed our pebble mm -hmm. with their pebble. Mm -hmm. When we come here, we're getting a glimpse It's like the source, God, the it, 
let's us recognize for a second that we know that person. Mm-hmm. And we call it a soulmate. That doesn't have to be like your love. Mm-hmm. It's just a recognizable force that you shared the same force with. Yes. So, for example, he met this man, Roger. Mm. And they had an instant connection, instantly mm-hmm. became friends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then within a year, he died of cancer. Mm-hmm. Why? Why did that happen? Just like I said that we put it, the pebble is in the past, right? Mm-hmm. Because we touched each other <laughs> as a pebble mm-hmm. in the past. And then we came back here and we knew each other. I knew Roger from the future. Mm. Roger is supposed to help me now. I got a glimpse of Roger as a soulmate so that I'd recognize him when he's trying to help me. Mm. That's it. That's all. So I recognized Roger from the future. So Roger is helping him from another realm right yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That gives me goosebumps. Yeah, yeah. Believe me, it gave him goosebumps too. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Roger's there. That's unbelievable. So it's, that's why sometimes things like that happen. Yeah. Roger died. Mm-hmm. Terrible, terrible death here. Everybody cried. Except Roger. Because hmm. Roger knew that he was going to another better purpose. I'm not the purpose. But he's going to a better purpose to... And, and, and same as me tying my shoe and learning that and giving it back to the source and the, and the source applauds, Roger, as he helps me, the source applauds. Mm-hmm. He's just not doing it in this form. Interesting. Does that happen a lot? It happens all the time. So when we meet people, they're just there for a moment and disappear. Mm-hmm. We we're supposed to meet them. Okay. For that moment. Because that moment, we'll go back to it. Even the now. Goes back to the it. Okay. And he had applauds because we just did a meet. Mm -hmm. We did a meet and a greet. And that is huge. It's probably better than tying your shoe. (laughs) It sure is. Can you tell him a little bit about his dad now? What's going on there? Oh, talk about being in between worlds. Mm Mm-hmm. Huh. Stuck's not the right word. He's learning. Mm-hmm. What's he learning? He's learning what's it like to be between different worlds. Mm-hmm. Is that what dimension is all about? Mm. That's what we call it. We call it that because we don't understand it. What is that? Um, I guess you're not ready to die, but you're not ready to go. Mm-hmm. And you're, you're you're there to explore. That's just as big of a world as the it and the earth and all the other places that we can go. Mm-hmm. There's a, it's the in between. It's the it's the fog. That you got the earth, you got the sky, and then you got the fog. And it's the fog is just as cool as anything else. But we don't see it that way because we're human, mm-hmm. and we have to have our brain at full function to see that we're, you know. We're cool. We're good. He's just not full functioned, which so, is okay. It's okay for his dad, but what about all those that are watching? Yeah, as as he's mm. not there yet. It, it's what what can Jack do to help his dad make up his mind and go finally to the it? Hmm. Is he ready? Not yet. Not yet. Nah, months. Months. So how can we prepare? He's got to let go. Mm-hmm. His lesson is letting go. Okay. 
and he's still holding on. But uh, I say his lesson, and I say it negatively, but he's learning, and he's still applauding because mm -hmm. he's learning something. But he's got a lot going. That was his lesson in life here. To let go. Yeah. Is there any way that he's that, not the same dad as that same dad that went and that died yes. in the Civil War? Not the same guy. Not the same one. No. Okay. But how can Jack help his dad mm. let go? Can he do something perhaps like in his prayers? Yeah. What can you do to help mm. someone you let go? You can get into the telepathy of that mm -hmm. through Just knowing you can do it and believing you can do it, and then just get in it and let and talk to them without words. Okay, so if you have a parent or uh -huh. someone who has dementia, yeah. or or they they're losing it, they're in between lives. Yeah. In do we do this in our meditations? Do we do this in our moments of quiet? Do we do it in our sleep? How do we get to them in this fog? To tell them to let go and fall. by believing you can by believing it's yeah. all intention it is okay but if you're not willing to let go of them no you, you can't help you can't get you can't you can't take get the message mm -hmm. yeah can someone else give a message or does it have to be the loved ones no anybody can anybody yeah okay anybody and and they have to believe and the thing is, is they care mm -hmm. to believe so yes. it's usually the loved ones. Okay. You know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Good. He tells me that he almost died a couple of times. Klutzy. <laughs> Car accident, falling down a cliff, and then this lesion that he had. Why yeah. was he saved? Or was he just klutzy? No, there was more to it. Mm hmm. Why did he. Go through all of these very dramatic, almost uh, deaths. To get a glimpse of death, mm. you don't fear life. Okay. Because we're afraid of dying. Here. Mm -hmm. Not so much afraid of dying, we're afraid of changing. Mm -hmm. We're afraid of that we don't know what it is that we change to. Mm -hmm. Getting a little glimpse of it. <clears throat> takes it away. Takes that fear away so that concentration can be on other things. Okay. So what was he being saved from? What was, what was going on in his life that he needed such a dramatic change? He didn't need to change. He needed to learn that. Not to fear. Okay, not to fear. Yeah. Did, he, did he learn? Yeah. Okay. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Who was protecting him? There's so much protection going on that it's not just one being. Okay. Yeah. There's many. Yeah. And they're all in collaboration with us? Oh, yeah. Okay. They're bidding for the help, too. It's, I say bidding, but it's like, I just see... bunch of <laughs> souls or whatever and they're just like hey, my turn I'm going oh I wanted to go no you go okay I'll go you know it's kind of mm -hmm. simple for them so and it's fun and it's 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 their it's their television okay hmm. so we're their entertainment yeah and they like to save us oh yeah they love mm -hmm. to save us because I mean saving is really cool because that saving something is like love it's love mm -hmm. so it's what happens the it expands mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now I've heard that since this is a free will planet that they're not allowed to help us unless we ask mm. how does that work how do we know what's good for us <laughs> so are they saving us anyway you ever hear the term saved from yourself? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But we still have the free will. We still yes. have the free will to need to be saved for ourselves. Okay. You understand? Yes. Yeah. Very good. 
Why was he so hyperactive when he was younger? Vibrations. Vibrations. Yeah. The feel the vibrations that when you're an empath, mm -hmm. that's what we call it. Yes. When we can start feeling other people, our vibration gets... Our, we're feeling, mm -hmm. but we're not... On Earth, we don't really... We're not supposed to feel. So it's 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 like somebody. Oh, wait a minute. He's vibrating because he's doing something that's other than earthly. Mm, okay. So it's it's again it's a, it's being human. You feel the fear. You feel the um, anguish. You feel the why can I do this? So it comes back as a scatter, a, a, a bigger vibration. And then, then it goes into the body, and the body is just running around and trying to release that. Mm -hmm. And it comes into the body, and the body shows it in the way of being hyperactive. Mm. That's what they say, hyperactive. So all of these young kids that are coming in now oh. that are so empathic. Oh, they, they're, I'm surprised they're not reading what we're thinking. <laughs> and knowing and, and and just not even speaking, mm. or that's why they look at their phones all the time. Really, I don't know, because that's a vibration. That's kind of a a send. Mm -hmm. A text message to them is a send, just like a thought could be a send. Yes, and they'll send it back and forth, and we're going. Us older folk are going. Don't we talk anymore? <laughs> we don't have to because we can just send it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today, in this day and age, now he's in a dreamlike state. Deep thoughts. It's hard on relationships. What's going on with him now? Before it was like a ping pong ball, and now? Okay, so when he was young, he didn't understand it. Mm -hmm. And it turned energy to hyperness, activity, whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now, I still really don't understand it because he's human. But now he understands that it could be. And if it could be, he starts thinking about it. Mm -hmm. If it could be, you want to know more. When he was a kid, he didn't know that it could be something. He just felt that it shouldn't be something. Made him hyper. Mm -hmm. Now, waves, like the conversation earlier, waves. Waves or frequencies or vibrations. Um, they go... <sighs> He knows that that's what it is, so he's trying to get into that waveform. And you have to be a space cadet, for no lack of a better term, to get there. You have to be meditative. You have to be thinking. It's hard. It's hard to be human and be able to go into that vibration where everything is easy. And telepathy is easy. And, 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 and even going back to Barber, where everybody felt each other and it was okay. Mm -hmm. he's trying to go there and you can't go there by talking you got to go there by going inward mm -hmm. or so far outward that nobody understands so what it is it's he's waking up to the fact that it can be something he wants to explore that something so he goes inwards to find that something okay so is that anything that he needs to apologize for no okay no, matter of fact, more people start doing it. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Is that why so many people seem to be daydreaming? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're starting to realize that there's more. And they want to know what the more is, so they have to go into 
I say into yourself, but when you go into yourself, you're actually going out to the it, which is everywhere. So mm -hmm. you could say outwards. And your it's self discovery. It's it's it, we're getting a glimpse of something, and we have to try to understand it. Okay, good. Why does he get so anxious socially? It's the same thing. <sighs> When you when you feel vibrations from one person, imagine being feeling all the vibrations at once. Be like watching thirty three TVs at once, <laughs> and try and understand everything that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and anxiousness, just like hyperactivity, is just a feeling. So it's the empath in him. Yeah. Uh huh. It's too much. Yeah. It's too much. Too much stimulation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. Too many currents going to the same area. Can he do anything about that? Understand it. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Understanding takes care of a lot of things. <sighs> Most of fear is the unknown. Mm -hmm. Understanding takes care of that fear. Wonderful. Would you take a, a look at his body, do a body scan, and see if there's anything that we need to address today physically with him? See how he's doing. I have to do it again. Mm -hmm. Something to do with temperature. The temperature? Something to do with temperature. Mm -hmm. It could be a hy hy hypothalamus. Mm -hmm. Is that what it is? Yeah. What's going on there? I don't know. Hates the cold. <laughs> That's why I live in Florida. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the cold is not his friend anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a body scan took, went in a kind of a weird way into a direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What direction did you? Warmth. Warmth. Yeah, warmth. He should spend more time in Florida? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Florida, are you being more tropical? Okay. Would that help him? It's like we were just talking about getting rid of worry and getting rid of under, understanding what he is understanding that he likes the warmth and he doesn't want to worry about winter. Yes. So that he can concentrate on other things. <laughs> I made that decision at 18. Uh, <laughs> I can understand that. Uh, uh, uh. So now he has an awareness of that. <sighs> yeah, it's bad. It's a simple one. Mm. Good. Anything else that you find? Just gravity working. Just gravity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can we get an energetic uh, lift? To put him back. Oh in. yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not gonna say facelift. I'm gonna say full body lift. Yeah, yeah. Uh mm -hmm. Just took off the weight vest. Yes. And gravity does a lot to the body. Uh mm -hmm. What are you using to help him with that? Ah. Uh, Again, it's the knowing that you can be helped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, a little bit of like a light, a light breeze, a upward breeze mm. to uh, reverse the gravity a little bit. Beautiful. Yeah, it's pretty simple. Good. While you're doing that, does he have any fear or any steps that he needs to take to not get dementia? <laughs> not get dementia. Uh huh. Hmm. 
Is this something that's hereditary, or is it a, a way not of thinking? Not on his side. Mm-hmm. Not on his side. It's is it not... hereditary, or is it a way of thinking? <sighs> well, way of thinking could be heredit hereditary. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, it could mm -hmm. possibly go to generation. In his case, it's not going to, but... It's not a bad place to understand. So don't be concerned about it? Don't be fearful of it. Don't be fearful. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Is there anything that I could have asked that I haven't that you would like to tell him today? There's a bridge. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the bridge holds everything you want. And like before, if we can realize it, that's the first part of achieving it. Mm -hmm. Imagine Realize and achieve. You can stop in the middle and fish if you want. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we all have that in us. It's like a story of the Indians when they didn't believe that the ships could be coming and didn't see them. Right. Hmm, Sasquatch. Mm hmm. <laughs> hmm, you said something about Sasquatch. Yes. Ah, the paranormal. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's real because we can imagine it. Mm hmm. And all those things, fairies, and, and where did they all come from? Mermaid, you said earlier, mm -hmm. man-made, man-made. Mm -hmm. Merman? Yeah, mm -hmm. merman. Mm -hmm. Where did all those stories come from? People believing they saw them. Maybe they did. Because they believed. So start believing more. Go deep and invent belief. The phrase, how did he think of that? Or you say the same thing. How the heck did I just think of that? If we can go deep enough to believe the things that we can think of, then they can come true. He's a lot lighter now. Thank you. Are we complete today? Something about a second generation grandmother on my mother's side. I don't know though. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? She came and visited him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. That's but it. With her. He was. If she's wondering. the one with the tangerines. Mm -hmm. She used to give all the kids tangerines at Christmas. Mm -hmm. It's a story he, I heard. Mm -hmm. So she's been She with visited, him? yeah, mm -hmm. a couple, about a month ago. Okay. And she's just a little bitty thing with a lot of personality and strength. So strength can come from within, doesn't have to come from the body. So you can be strong 
without being physically strong. Mm -hmm. That's the lesson to him. Be more mentally strong. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any other message for anybody else? My mom was a nun. <laughs> she was right. She was a nun in her past life. <laughs> The left second, second, two lives ago. Mm hmm Yeah. We jokingly call her Saint Jeanette. <laughs> She's right, though. She asked me. She said she always gets an image of her sitting around a water fountain in, like, a European, European setting with buildings around and people being able to open the shutters and look down. Mm -hmm. That's France. Uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I just asked. I just asked a question to my higher self, and he said, "France." Mm -hmm. Wonderful. That's pretty cool. So, how can we continue having this conversation between Jack and the higher self? Does he know now how to connect? I knew all along. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> By going inward and believing you're going outward. Okay. That is where the message is. Very good. Anything else? Are we complete? That's it. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Welcome back. Uh -huh. How do you feel? Enlightened. <laughs> Enlightened. <laughs> yeah. What an amazing journey. <laughs> what do you get from it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I still kidding. try to figure out what that, what, um, what this is all about. Well, that's, was happy. That's, all it that's all that matters. How long do you feel that you were on this journey? The physical journey going under? Yeah, no, it's, just... I don't know. I talked it out about, I don't know, 25 minutes, 20 minutes. It felt like 20 minutes? Yeah. Try two hours. Holy shit. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Two hours? Yes. What the hell was I talking about? <laughs> no. 20 minutes is what I felt. Uh-huh. What do you mm -hmm. remember? Remember when I told you that when I was a kid, I was seeing that weirdness? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a heavy dense, but that's basically the density that when you go under mm -hmm. and you're going towards the, the it, the it's that. Mm -hmm. It's weird. It's like a ball of energy. It's really cool. It was an amazing session. Was it? <sighs> yeah. Yes. You want to share this? We're both here, so I, okay. When I was talking and <laughs> um, I was trying to explain, yeah, you kept putting it into wordly, into earthly words, yes, and uh, and talk or yes. talk, I guess you could Earth call it. talk, yeah. yeah. And it was like, no, I gotta show you what it. It's more of a feeling, yeah. You know, yeah. And the words we have here don't really describe it. So we were coming back to the earth, and I was trying to make it make sense through earth talk. But it's a vast, it's just a super vast feeling. Um, and then when I just got up, I thought about my, I have dreams about um, bounding, where you bound and you just float up and wow. you bound. And that's the way I felt when I was walking, like real light. So I know that it was, that you didn't feel like it was two hours. No way. What is 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Felt like we were just talking for 20 minutes. And um, I was just explaining stuff. But you don't, do you remember what you, you were explaining? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think I, I remember everything. But it I don't seemed know. It's been I, condensed. It's almost like time was condensed for you. Yeah, it was <laughs> all in one little Isn't that interesting? One page. So tell everybody what it feels like to be hypnotized. What does it feel like? Um. If someone's watching this and they say, okay, I want that experience, what did you do to let go? What did you do to get yourself into this 
very deep state. What it does is it lets you go. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it gets you into a situation where you can just say, I'm just going to let it go. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to find out what happens. It's almost like a roller coaster. It's too late when you get to the top. <laughs> you know, you're going to take that plunge <laughs> and you just let go. You're just yeah. like, okay, okay, mom, no hands. So when did you make the decision to let go? Um, I forget. You're talking about. You were talking about something in the very beginning, and I can't remember what it mm-hmm. was. Um, I think I think once the the gold did the gold one come back. Yeah. Okay, so I had the white cocoon or the. The golden. The. When I put you like in a golden bubble. You had me first in a. Like a light, light, light bubble, and then, yeah. and then, mm-hmm. then the next one was gold, and mm-hmm. that's kind of when it was like. Okay. So then you just. Mm-hmm. Excellent. Yeah. So you were using the visualization to let go. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had visualizations. Uh-huh. I had hearing. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of feeling. Were you hearing things? Yeah. Yeah. Like a different voice, hearing or your voice or. Thought voice. What 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 would you explain would be like this voice that you were hearing? Because everybody's different. Yeah, I'm trying to think how it even. Maybe it was an auditory. Maybe it was more feeling, mm-hmm. but it was um, that that voice saying, "Say this." <laughs> Basically, kind of like uh, that, uh-huh. you know. And then there was times that I said something, and my, I thought, wow, I didn't, I don't say that stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? I don't talk like that. Yeah. So was was there your conscious mind kind of listening in to what was going on? Was it eavesdropping? Yeah, yeah. At times it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and um, yeah, it, my conscious mind came in a couple times, and then you just, it, it, but it goes away real quick too. Okay. Yeah. So you had control of that. You yeah. kind of like set it aside. Yeah. Cool. I was very dreamy. I was very, very much um, floating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But very. you have that experience all the time, you say. You're yeah. kind of like in that. Mm-hmm. Is that your meditation? I guess. So someone who meditates may have a, a much easier time doing this. Mm-hmm. Okay. I would think so. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, do, you, do you recommend this to other people? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Because, well, let's get back to the it. It's an experience, <laughs> and the it likes it, right? Like tying your shoes. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Tying the shoes. This was a really amazing session. I mean, my mouth was like the whole time oh, yeah. going, "Oh my god, this is like the concepts seemed, are getting yeah. wilder and wilder." I thought it was it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah. Very satisfying. Oh, good. To hear this, that, that, you know, all of us are making such an impact to the it, mm-hmm. to what we consider God. Yeah. That all of our experiences are really collectively making God just extremely happy. Exactly. Anything that we do. Is Anything. Like whatever. It's an experience. Mm-hmm. You know, and experience is what we're here for. Yeah. And that feeds the... The it. The, the it. Wonderful. So now you heard it. This is a great, great session. If you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. It's very easy to book, except I am booked up months in advance. (laughs) I do travel right now. We are in Buffalo, New York. And how far did you have to travel to get here? About an hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm originally from around this area, but I live about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, and you'll be going to warmer places. Yeah, (laughs) so Wednesday, actually. (laughs) So if uh, you want a session with me, uh, go to my website, and there is an out-of-town page on my website. If you want to sign up for my newsletter, you'll see where I'm traveling to next, and you can book an appointment to a, at a city near you. So until the next time, thank you for watching, and bye. <laughs> now I got my hug. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, cool.